All right. Now, House Bill 1652 by Representative Bell. Is it? Thank you, Madam Chair, and <laughs> thank you, Mr. Chairman, for reopening this committee to hear a few bills, including mine. It's the first time I've been before the Education Committee, and um, I appreciate you doing that. House Bill 1652, as amended, is going to um, take care of a problem that's come to the attention of several legislators in the last few weeks. If I could, if I could get somebody to pass out the amendment that rewrites the bill. I'm, I brought enough copies for the higher ed committee members. I don't know if I have enough for everybody up here at this time. House Bill 1652, as amended, would address a problem that's just recently, recently been brought to the attention of several legislators, including Representative Ferguson, Representative Harry Brooks, Senator Woodson, and myself. In a nutshell, the problem is the State Department of Education has decided that Category 4 diplomas are no longer valid diplomas in the state of Tennessee. The Category 4 includes some smaller private schools and most children who are being home educated in the state. I want to tell you a little bit about Category 4 diplomas. Since the since the 495801, uh, which is the church related school statute, and 496050, which is the homeschool statute in the state, since they've been law, they've been accepted by all public and private institutions of higher education in the state. Category 4 diplomas are accepted by institutions of higher education in other states as well. I personally know, I personally know two young men in Chattanooga, the Downer brothers, who've received scholarships to Harvard on Category 4 diplomas. The U.S. military accepts Category 4 diplomas as being valid. The problem that's arisen in the state is the Department of Education started telling employers who look to the department for guidance that a Category 4 diploma is, and I quote, worthless. Representative Ferguson has a constituent, a Mr. John Evans, who graduated in 2001 from a Category 4 homeschool program. Since then, he's worked with the youth of Roan County by starting a Golden Gloves program, joined the Roan County Sheriff's Department as a correction officer, became a booking officer, attended NCIC training where he received a certification. He then entered Walter State Community College Police Academy where he graduated with a 4.0. He was then hired by the Rockwood City Police Department. It was there that his boss informed him that he was losing his certification as a police officer because the Department of Education has refused to recognize his Category 4 diploma. Now this was seven years after he had graduated high school. Representative Brooks has a constituent, Miss Amy Reeves, who upon graduation decided that she wanted to be a daycare worker. Second. She wanted to be a daycare worker. And during a routine state inspection, the state discovered that she had a Category 4 diploma and declared her ineligible to be a daycare worker. Category 4s are not state approved and don't seek to be state approved, but they have been state recognized in law since 1985. All this bill does is say that a Category 4 diploma, as defined in 4950-801, and a state homeschool program, as defined in 49-6-3050, are valid diplomas in this state. And I will confess that I have a personal interest in this as well. All my children are Category 4 students. My oldest son has already gone to Chattanooga Fire Academy and taken his entrance exam, his physical test, his psychological test. He's just waiting on the next academy to start so he can become a paid fireman. He had to present his diploma. Now, it's not been rejected, but I'm sure if the Chattanooga Fire Department called the Department of Education, it would be rejected like these, other, these others have been. Um, my oldest daughter will, will graduate this year and plans on attending a local technology school. Several years ago, Chattanooga State Community College for a time did not recognize Category 4 diplomas, and through the, wor through the work of former Representative Bobby Wood, the situation was taken <coughs> care of. M Madam Chair, that's I'm through with my explanation, and I'm sure there may be some questions. And uh, Right. Your bill is properly before us now, and you've given a, a, both a description and explanation of the bill. Representative Whittingham, you recognize. Representative Bell, it's our, our earlier conversation, you stated that you had meetings with the Department of Education. And, and That's correct. Who, who ruled against this procedure uh, initially. And... I think uh, I think in order to give you an opportunity, you and Representative Ferguson, uh, whomever right. uh, that, that's advocating for this, to give you the opportunity to meet with them, 
uh, I'd like to ask the members of the committee to send this on to full committee and and we'll put it on the addendum to the calendar and when we get the commitments from the Department of Education or Board of Education or whomever you have to work with and, and they can come in and, and help you with your bill I'd say within we'll take it back up and I, that's what we agreed to and I would call for the question on the going to withdraw Question has been called for. Yeah, question has been Question has been called for. Uh, mm. Parliamentary question. Oh, Representative Johnson, you recognize. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I call for question on the bill. Uh, the chair wants to say something. Oh, the chair wants. This chair wants to make a <laughs> Then I re withdraw that motion, Madam okay. Chair. Would, would you come back to me after yes, that? Yes, sir. I most certainly will. My question, you referenced Chattanooga several times. I, would you please sort of help me understand what really is going on and how does Well, I know one of, the, one of the places I read, referenced Chattanooga was my, referen my, was my uh, relationship with the Downer brothers who, who, went, who are homeschool students from Chattanooga. Uh, they, I don't know if you know Jeff Atherton, an attorney. You know, he has the mock trial team. They were two of his students, and they got full scholarships to Harvard. And I was just bringing up the point that Harvard recognizes a Category 4 diploma as, uh, as an example of being these two uh, young men from Chattanooga. Another time that I mentioned Chattanooga was that my son is, has applied to the fire academy down there and hopes to be a professional fireman in Chattanooga. My brother-in-law is a professional fireman in, in Chattanooga, and his diploma uh, was accepted, but but my guess is they've just not called the Department of Education because the instances where we know where um, the the Department of Education did the inspection on the daycare center, the police department, the Department of Education told them that it was not a valid diploma, and I was just bringing that up as a possibility that the that those were the instances. It's nothing more specific okay. than that. Well, I guess I have no idea until you have until you mention this particular category of diplomas, but this. What this is all about. So um, I hope, Mr. Chairman Winningham, when we get to education, uh, the full committee of education, will there be a full discussion so we can have somebody from the I can have somebody from the department to address that rather than doing it at this time. I, I, I see two possible scenarios. One, if they do not come to some sort of an agreement, there will be no discussion. If they have some sort of an agreement, we can have a full discussion. So I think the next progress uh, has to be made by the sponsors and adv advocates for the bill. Well, I guess for my own edification but, at this moment, Ms. Sarah, I need to know, at what point did we decide not to honor this particular kind and, of uh, Madam Chair, that we, we can sorry. we can uh, We can get your questions to any member of this committee. You, as chair of this committee, you can get... Uh, uh, answers to whatever questions you want, either in this committee or the full committee. I mean, we can have we can have the the discussion. Our agreement was that we keep the bill alive and going, pending some discussion with the department, and coming to a a resolution or no resolution, and then we take it off notice. Uh, Okay, well, I would like to hear from the department at this point to see precisely when and why did we dishonor that particular category. You, you, you're, you're the chair, and you can okay. certainly call them up. Okay. Stand well, we, would, we shall stand in recess to hear from Dr. Obit in relation to what point, when and why do we do this, because it doesn't make much sense to me. <laughs>